It is time for this week's Ask a Vet, your well pet, where we tackle some common pet problems with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando. I'm Amy Biondello, and I'm joined by Dr. Don Keenan. She's the clinical vet from the Pet Alliance, and we've been talking in recent weeks about respiratory illnesses in dogs, but it turns out that cats are at risk as well. So what do pet owners need to know? Well, in cats, most of these cases are viruses, usually caused by one or two virus, a herpes virus and, or a Khaleesi virus. There can be long-term issues with upper respiratory infections in certain um, cats, and stress plays a very big role in this um, illness. Okay. All right, so what are some symptoms, as always, that we should be on the watch out for? Uh, we know in dogs it's normally coughing. What about cats? Yeah, cats occasionally may it. cough. But most of the time you're looking for sneezing, um, nasal discharge, mucus coming from the eyes and or nose. Okay, those typical I'm sick symptoms. So what can people do to treat their cats? Well, usually since this is a virus, supportive care is the best option, making sure they stay hydrated, eating, drinking, controlling any fevers. But um, in some cases there could be bacterial components to it and antibiotics can't be helpful, so your vet may put them on antibiotics for their upper respiratory illness. All right, so what about protection? Are there vaccines? What can be done about those stressful situations? Yeah. So avoiding stressful situations the best you can. You should expect that if your cat has recently been in a shelter or a boarding facility or something else that may cause them stress, you should expect some signs. Most of the time it is mild and will clear up on its own, but if they do progress to more advanced disease, you do want to see your veterinarian. There are vaccinations for it, um, and you want to make sure you keep your cats updated on their vaccinations. Absolutely. Now, what if you have a cat and a dog and your cat gets sick with something, or can your cat get sick with something that your dog may have had? In most cases, no. A lot of these viruses and um, bacteria are species specific, so that means that cats get cat illnesses and dogs get dog illnesses, but in certain cases, there is a possibility of transmission between species. Gotcha. Well, thank you as always for joining us. And if you want all that information about keeping your cats healthy, we'll connect you with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando through our website, clickorlando.com.